and he's so good on the jacks that he's kind of demanding that attention. But I feel like the Gwen is a better matchup into the into the Orn, and it's also a better team fighter. They also picked Orn into Brawn. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Let's, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's one of those situations where when you think about what they're playing into, I think BLG are very happy. Admittedly, BLG's composition is very much about getting in front of your face, closing that gap. You have short range in the fight. HP. Looking for a little bit more damage here from downtown with the Calibrum. All the nice stun. stun back onto Elk as he and On are forced back. We get done singing the praises of BLG, but we got to remember who they're staring down across the rift because Gen G is a ferocious squad to have to fight. Shun coming in here looking for the dive onto Chovy. The charm flies oh. out, but it missed. They get the damage. Fighting well on that top side. But yeah, I mean, it was Delight that started it all, all right. up in. Oh, he flashed in! Bin puts him in the bin! Throws him away! Doesn't even worry about- So obnoxious. Tibbers does so much damage if it sticks around. Meanwhile, 3v3 now here in the river. Peanut jumping in, looking to go after these guys. On trying to disengage. Shun and Yigao need to do the same. On is gonna drop! And it's Jovi getting the first kill of the game for Gen G. Credit to Delight. He has been playing so aggressively on this Tom Kench, setting up a lot for them on that bottom side. You know, gets the initial engage that sets up that big trade on Elf, puts him down a little bit. Then making that roam up here, finds the play, slowing him down enough that they can chase down, get the kill, and now take the dragon as well. Getting him ahead. Uh, they have accomplished that, though it is a very slight lead. So we'll see if he's going to be able to make good on it. Looking for a play top. All right. Then could be in some trouble here. Trying to fight it off in a 1v2, but so much burst from Peanut oh. and from Doran. I don't know what the flash was, was for. That was terrible flash. Binge. Hey, Chovy, come with me. And so Peanut and Chovy just showed themselves. And they didn't need the proper setup because they know that they had a numbers advantage given that Shun was on the top side of the map. Now they have this presence, now they have this push. They've rotated over to the Dragon. Yigao has pushed in mid. But BLG actually conceding this objective. A little uncharacteristic for BLG, <laughs> but they are going to say, you know what, it's fine. We'll give this one up. We don't feel strong enough to fight right now, especially with the gold disparity. Was solo killed earlier, but can still have a huge impact in the fight. Yagao ults over. BLG looking for their moment here in the mid lane, but they won't find a damn thing. Peanuts ready for the follow-up. Throws Yagao up into the air. A lot of bursts coming down from Gen G. Doran's got the kill on on, and Shun barely survives. Doran's taken low. Bin jumps into the middle of everybody, but now he's got to retreat because Gen G's able to turn around, and Delight finds the kill. Yagao and Shun trying to hobble away, and Gen G get two for zero. BLG tried to pull together some haphazard engage, and Gen G just tore it apart. Yagao couldn't connect the charm. On couldn't connect the ultimate. And we talked about Doran's impact in these fights while his his Orn was very present. The two-man knockup, the engage from afar, Genji went out on the fight. Yeah, it was really kind of haphazard. It was not very organized there from Big Bit. And the opportunity to stop this stack. But Genji's not just gonna let him do it. They're teleporting in Doran. Here on the Orn. They've got the Herald summoned up mid. They're gonna use that to just apply pressure in the mid lane instead. The Drake is secured by BLG, so now environment. Their, their real strength is about how they play the map, their lane assignments. Chovy wasn't prepared for this. Chovy in some trouble as Shun initiates. There's the one-two punch of Vi and one of her lane mates. Line them up, knock them down. Ulti into the follow-up from the Gwen. Means that Ben and Shun can get that kill for free, and they'll take the Tier 1 turret on top. Yeah, really nicely done. They know that he doesn't have stopwatch because he actually spent it in that mid lane fight. So even though he has flashers, it's also really nice to have the additional move speed around these fights. And one more hit. There we go. Shun picks that one up. Now Jinji, again, moving in his five. Keep your eyes on the Orn Horn. Keep your eyes on the Braum to block it. Yagao coming around on the flank, but he's spotted out, marked by Peanut. The Drake at about oh. 10,000 HP. Peanut used the Smite to pop the Banshee's Veil on Yagao. It's fine. He has a second smite. charge. Yeah, it, it should be fine if we back up. I was very concerned initially there, but it's okay. Dragon gets a 4K. They're going in. Chovy wants to lead the way. The Drake is down to 3,000 as Chovy goes into the zone. used to protect himself for a little bit, and Tibbers has dropped once more. Now it's taken out, but Yagao is down. Pays grabs the kill, and Gen G have already run the fight. Peanut's going to chase down Elk, and the Jinx has no way home. Delight jumps over the wall with the Abyssal Dive, and on to the next target. Gobble, gobble. There goes on, and he's just more. For food for pays. Gen G get three, and they'll get themselves a soul point as well. I think means the BLG won't find anything. I guess they didn't want to overcommit to that play, even if the charm did connect. You can see a bit of trading back and forth in bot lane, but Peanut has his eyes on Elk. Jumps in. 
On decides to drop the Glacial Fissure, and now they're going to find some damage onto Peanut. They follow it up with Shun. They get the shutdown on the enemy jungler, and On's backing away, trying to escape from Timbers. Pays is Bins behind. Up. Winter's Bite is there, and Ben's coming around. Snip, snip. They force him to go gold, and they shut him down with Ben. The rockets are flying, and Gen G's dying. Delight hits the floor next, and Doran barely gets away. BLG pull the trigger, and it strikes true 3-0 for the LPL team. BLG held on to their summoners in the previous losing fight, and as Peanut goes in for a chunk, On sees the opportunity to turn. He used the clone for the engage, so he didn't have it to get out. He hits the Q, he hits the ulti. They know they can proc the brawn passive. So in goes Shun, they full commit to the fight. Both teams, they can fight their way out of any situation. Yep. And they saw what was a fantastic opportunity, which they have now snowballed into to a commanding map state. On needs to be careful, though. Yeah, On potentially in some trouble here. Shun over the wall. Gonna give him something to jump away to. Glacial Fisher, throw down by On the support. Now disengaging, now getting back to his yeah. team. Bins found his way into the back. He's found Chovy. Yagao's here with the front. He's gone golden. Two separate fights. BLG continuing to push down here with the bottom side as Doran's taken very low and On now retreating again. Yagao's still at about 200. Doran's still about dead. Peanut has to run away and leave the clone back in the brush behind him. BLG. BLG, no. they were very separated. Yagao and Elk were separated from their front line and they didn't really have the support or good position to follow up and Bin said, I don't care. It doesn't look like that because he is the Orn. But On also taking a slight amount of damage here. But look at him being charged. Chovy's in some trouble. Uses the, sto the stasis to keep himself alive. And now the Orn Horn's coming through. Shun looking for a little bit of pressure as Bin's Hallowed Mist is going to keep him alive. Disengage, coming back out for BLG. Genji take a little bit of damage, but for the amount of ulties, the amount of abilities that Ooh. went flying, there's not a lot of injured health so far. Shun backing away. Elk and On got to be careful as On's going to take a whole lot of damage here from Pays rooted up. But now Pays could be in some trouble. One more hit for the winner's might is going to set him up. They might just take him down. Yagal's after Trophy. He's barely still alive, and Yagal's got the first kill. He kites away from Q flash there on the Chovy, and then we see Yagal you know, shortchanging his flash as well for that pullback on his Q on Chovy. But at the end of the day, it's BLG. The Doran and Pina are here. Nice charm down on a Doran. A little bit more damage, finding its way onto the tank, but that's not the guy you can target if the fight is even. Doran now getting chased down by Ben. He'll cut right through him. Ben is unstoppable. And BLG once again have a 5v4 as Chovy just now respawns and teleports to join up with the rest of Gen G. BLG right back into the Baron pit. Keep your eyes on Chovy. It's going to need to be a big Tivers if they want to try to win something here. All of BLG starting to back away a little bit now. The Glacial Fissure dropped by On. BLG back into the Chovy. pit. Chovy tagged up the winner's bite. There's the draw, and they want to go after Chovy. They force the ulti back out of the life, but BLG's health bars are looking bad. Guardian Angel's going to come out there from Shun, but Gen G are camping the body. They take him down, and Chovy gets the credit. Pays flashes in. He wants the damage on On, but he can't quite find it. On likely to drop here next as Pays goes on a killing spree. Ben tries to fight back. Delight is down. They're going after Chovy again. Elf looks for the reset. He's trying to cut. Pays. The Rockets are ready to go! He's oh. excited! And he just can't fight it! It's BLG winning another fight and getting another ace with a quadra kill for Elk! Elk gets excited and spaces Genji perfectly with the Rockets! No chance for Pace to turn around! That was perfectly played! by the BLG bot laner. Valid, there's, there's no stopwatches available. Everyone's already kind of utilized there. The Zonius is even on cooldown, so it's all about the engages here. Everyone is doing so much damage at this point. They charm up Doran, but he does a good job buffering through it. Meanwhile, the engage back on the Shun. Gen G go after him, but they cannot burst down the jungler. BLG ready to defend him as Elk is firing into the Drake. BLG have started up the objective. Now Yagao off to the side, has to be careful. Peanut wants to contest it. Make it a 50-50 here for the Drake. He looks to go into the pit. It's gonna be secured by the side of BLG. Has been and Yagao look to keep everybody else occupied. Elk grabs a kill. They trade one back for support for Jungler. But now Gen G is gonna go on the run. Elk is unstoppable. Gen G are gone. A triple for the Jinx. Elk runs them over. And BLG are gonna bring it home. Pray all you want.
chants to the church of Chovy. Nothing will stand in the way of BLG tearing Gen.G apart and going to match point in this best of five. It was such a close game for so long. Gen.G had an edge for so long, but the edge is blunted as BLG move on to match point. Bin has been the difference, it feels like for me, in this series. That Gwen.